Okay, now we're going to do a different test. I'm going to show you what TV Target Verify can do. We'll mark our line first, um, and then I'll show you how to use TV. Okay, let's get our line back. I'm about four or five foot out. Okay. Let's get our line nice and even with our generator and my feet through the heel. Okay, now that's where our line is now. Same target, no different. That's our line going out to our target. So, I'm going to continue on because uh, I have another target out here. This target happens to be four silver dollars, just buried in the ground over 10 years. So they're just laying in the ground. I have another target of four silver dollars in tin can. Let's see if we can pick that up. Now you're not going to be able to do this with square wave or IC. Sorry, it's not going to happen. Because, I mean, I'm sorry, square wave or sine wave. I see punches through containers. Okay, I'm parallel. I'll put a mark here. I want to see what the difference is between a target in the ground and a target with another in a container with another element such as tin. Now this is the first time I do this, so I don't know what to expect, but I'll go ahead and record it anyway. Let's uh We'll have to do one at a time. Let's do this one first. Put it on TV. Residual test. Now, let's see where our line's at now. Oh, okay. On residual, if the target is good, if the target is good, your line should move 45 degrees to the right. Now this is also a signal type I came up with. Your line should move about 45 degrees to the right. So now we have a line going out this way. And eventually, the line's going to move back to its original position. You just leave it on TV. So probably with this, with this new coil design coil internal internal coil that I have in the the um, EF NRM 2015 see our, our rod starting to move back I mean our line starting to move back there's a two so it's about midway so the way TV works you just let it sit eventually it's gonna move back to here right now the lines right here it was over here it's going to eventually move back and what you want it to do is stay there. If at any time, when I first turn TV on, if my line moved left, it's junk. Don't even, don't even worry about fooling with it. It's just something that's close enough to the frequency to lock on, which uh, square wave and sine wave has its problem the most. 
I see I've haven't never had a problem with uh, it being checked for whether it's good or not TV I just left on here as an added feature to, to verify your target so let's see where our lines at now there's our first move stake so let's see if it's near this one no okay our line has moved back to where it was moved back to where it was there's our stake uh, my rods are already starting to open as you can see so our line will sit here because that is a good target it'll just sit there you can let keep it on tv um, as long as you want but i mean as long as you don't see any other movement to the left then you're all right i would go after that target uh, if it does start moving to the left, it will eventually move and then disappear. Your line will disappear completely. So let's check this one that's in 10 because I'm interested to see what's going to happen here. Okay, I switched back to IC to re-energize the target. I want to make sure my line is there before I put TV on. So I want to see what's going to happen here. My line is here. Now this is silver in a tin can. Like I said, if I was on square wave, I wouldn't be seeing this right now. Okay, my line is there. I'm going to go to TV. And we'll see where our line goes. Residual. Let's we'll start from here. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. It moved left. It moved left of the target. You see, because it's not truly silver. It's silver and tin. See where the line moved? Didn't move far, but it did move to the left. But let's see what's gonna happen. Let's see if that silver is going to uh, bring it back or if the tin's gonna win. Okay, let's see which one of the elements won, the tin or the silver. Even though it moved left, which means bad target, we let it sit for a while. Let's see what happens. Well, it looks like the silver won out. Looks like the silver won. The TV is just as accurate if it's in mixed quantities or not. You can see that even with my generator. So it moved here. When I first turned TV on, it moved left, which would, which should mean bad target, but something happened. It moved back to the right and corrected. So, original line from the generator. Let's see if I can get this in. Original line, TV initial line, and then TV brought it back. The silver brought it back because it is a true target a true silver target even though it's in tin and that's what TV will do and I've learned something today like I said this is the first time I've done this test on a mixed element target with a container